Okay, good day everyone. Today I want to share about the SD1 AnyLink. Okay, this is by RJ Ray Features. Okay, so over here, this I make it simple. Okay, this is the VPN solution. So this VPN solution we can overcome a lot of challenge. Okay, one is public IP. So this require private private IP will be enough. Second, you can easy manage because you don't need a lot of uh, SI to control or managing your site. Third, you don't need list line because you can multiple one. Fourth, you don't need higher the project development cost because you don't need a lot of the manpower to do it. Okay. So, SD one is can say simplify as with private IP VPN. That's all on it. I make an example over here. So the example over here, okay, you can see over here I have a two dedicated network. One is the HQ, one is the branches. So you can see I just gain internet through the other party router. I don't use own as a gateway, okay, own as a router. So you know why? Because I want more challenge. Because we need understand more. This is able to buy private IP will be enough. So you can see over here one nine two one seven one one nine two one six eight. Dot seven seven dot one until two five five two five four this range. So this is the my PC seventy seven two five one. So another project is EG two hundred HBR. This is this range one 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 dot one until two five four. My cam my IP camera is one 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 dot three. So this is how the things looks like lah. So I want to prove that how this SD one able to do because this is totally. Two th different places, seventy-seven two two five one PC, able to view this camera by one 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 dot three. So now, uh, how to do it? Okay. Okay. So firstly, we go into a Google Chrome. You looking for Ruiz Cloud because uh, this have to develop by Ruiz Cloud project able to do it because this is by Ruiz by Ruiz material. So you just go in over here, just key in your username, your password, and your project is inside is already okay already. Okay, once you enter the this Ruiji Cloud login ready, so do you see they have a project? Okay, this project we previously we making on those project we are created just now because just just now I have a this describe about the HQ and also the BR branches. Okay. So over here, make sure the project is already done over here. So how are we going to do this SD1? So SD1 solution is quite very easy. You just go into the service and click this any link. So you just create your first SD1 group. Then you just create your name, EG200 group lah. Okay. So click OK. So I'm under half spoke next. Okay, click your HQ and click your branches that's all so this how they link each other okay but be, but before that do you see they have one setting over here but the one setting is automatically they already click everything so you don't need to do anything but you just roughly have to understand this only so you just leave it then you click next so over here you done already as you see they have a default VLAN ID 1 and default VLAN ID 1 but the range is totally different so you create the SD1 group okay so over here you see the networking configuration has been delivered successfully so the link connection will be take about three to five minutes so this three to five minutes we have to wait for the while because they need a uh, time to make it stable so before that we take a look on the monitoring dashboard Okay, so this is the exactly the SD1 dashboard. As you see over here, I have a normal over here. I have a router. I have a EG200 HQ1 and this PR1. So they really have a utilities over here. So over here, you can see the configuration. As you see, they have a downlink and uplink is 1 GB. Okay, so over here on this part, you can see some of the setting over here. They are 120 and 90%. Okay, so it's under normal. Okay, the network is established already. But if you want to confirm that how to do it, it's quite easy. You click over the link over here, 
they have a NAT detection you can click this NAT detection you can detect again but usually it's okay already okay as you see over here they both are running private so this is how the thing success looks like uh. so now we very easy because previously I got show that I have an IP camera over here okay so my, I have a IP camera so it's 111.3 one, one, one so we just going to my Microsoft Edge okay 192.168.111.3 you can see I able to access the inter access to the IP camera and my local IP will be have 192.168.77.251 as what I mentioned over the as what I mentioned over there the PC is 77.251 and the camera is 3 so over here you can see the connections okay so we can take a look I can key in the username password of the camera and then this is the images okay so you can see the times is running but I think it's not so real time but so far we're able to monitor the site okay this is depend on the network okay please like and subscribe to my channel